Just in time for the Easter season for His Glory Productions is now showing its latest play. It's called It Should Have Been Me. A couple actors from the show join us now. BK Martin, who plays Mother Mary, and Kevin Bowden, who's playing Felix the Centurion. Welcome in. Well, thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Mother Mary might be a little self-explanatory. Tell us about uh, your role, Kevin. So uh, what's interesting about this version of the Easter story is it's not told from Jesus' point of view or the disciples' point of view. It's told from the point of view of some non-believers, of which I am one, one of the Roman soldiers who um, escorts Jesus to the cross and, and, and experiences it from a non-believing perspective, which makes this particular passion show um, not just for churchgoers, but for those that don't believe as well. Now, BK, is this something that you guys have done in the past before, or is it kind of a new spin on something you've done? Uh, this is the third year of doing an Easter show for For His Glory Productions, but every year it's different. And this, it's written from the perspective of Barabbas, the thief that was released instead of Christ, and the centurion that witnessed the crucifixion. Now, Kevin, is this, a, is this an original production, or is this something... Is this something that you guys have put together? Yes, yourself? this is an original. Um, Jonathan Ross is our director, and he's the writer of it. Um, super talented guy, and, and he wants to just use his gifts and talents to, to show Christ to the world. We do have some video rolling of the performance, some practices going on there. Yes. I, this looks like it's kind of an extensive production. How many people are involved? It is, I'd say, probably 20 well, to 30. 20 to 30. Wow, so, for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. So a lot of actors involved, but BK, uh, you mentioned to us that uh, the music is going to play a big role in this production. Well, we are having special music for some of the shows coming up. Uh, this Friday, which is Good Friday, we will have Kingdom Collective, and they will start at 6.30. That's when the doors open to the theater. The show starts at 7. Saturday, we have a show at 7. Sunday, no show because that is Easter Sunday. Then next weekend on Friday, the show's at 7. Saturday, we have Phillips and Banks at 6.30. Sunday will be Life Point Church Worship Team at 4.30, and the show is at 5 on Sunday. What would you say that your audience is that you're trying to target for this performance? So uh, there's a scene that really means a lot to me and, 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 and speaks to who this is for. There's a scene where towards the end of the play, the most, one of the most important scenes for my character, and we're gathered around a group gathered around a campfire. And there's people from different political backgrounds, different religious backgrounds, people with different life backgrounds. Um, and they're all there. And the one thing that brings them together is the fact that Jesus loved them and changed their lives. And I think too many, too often in today's society, we have to pick a side. I'm on this side, I'm on that side. But for his glory, one of the things I love about it is that, you know, we don't all go to the same church. We don't all necessarily agree of what worship music should sound like. But what we do agree on is Jesus has changed our lives. We may not even vote for the same political person come, come November, but Jesus changed our lives and Jesus loves us and we want people to know that. So if Jesus has changed your life, you should be there. If you think your life might need a change, you should be there. Jesus is that answer. And if you just want to come and hear some good worship music, just spend the time with you. I guarantee you, if you choose to go see this, it will be one of the best decisions you make during this Easter season. I'll, I will guarantee that personally, and I will refund your money if you disagree. <laughs> oh, look you at know. that. <laughs> there you go. And a, a family-friendly show? It is a family-friendly show, I would say, but there is a crucifixion scene. Yes. So if you think your children may be disturbed by that, you Just might want to Just use your discretion, out. I guess, yes. as a yes. parent. Yes. Well, thank you so much. We are looking forward to it. We have the information. If you're wanting to watch these two perform on the stage, you can see the latest showing of It Should Have Been Me now through April 7. Tickets can be purchased online at F. GHproductions.org and they are $10 for adults, $5 for kids. Those four and under are free. We'll have a link on our website up shortly. We'll be right back.